Okay, guys, so we got, let's see. These are the three inline spinners, two favorite lures, and then, oh, this is burnt. Someone burnt that. Rooster tail, chartreuse, and gold. Can't go wrong. I mean, you can't go wrong with this color, you know? So break it down Silver, a little bit. Break it down a little bit. So this is a Nitro Thump Bass Pro Shops inline spinner. And people are like, oh, what spinner is your favorite? What spinner like you recommend? This one would have to be my second most favorite. My all time has got to be the Blue Fox. Effective, good presentation. You know, I mean, many different colors, a variety of colors to choose from. Different weight sizes, everything. You can't go wrong with this. So must have in your tackle box. Rooster tail, always have to, you know. If they're really being finicky throughout one of these things, there's another one. This imitates a little trout, like a little rainbow trout. You'll even catch bass on it. Maybe some giant perch. Maybe some walleye. Maybe some huge trout. Any type of predatory fish. You'll get them. Yeah. Pretty good. Crankbait. No, no crankbait. We're sticking to rooster tails. Um, rooster tails only. Anyways, keep going. Oh, so, yeah. All these are inline spinners and rooster tails, and I have a lot of luck with them on rivers and streams, lakes, ponds, whatever. You know, it's always fun fishing with them too. I catch insane amounts of fish, insane amounts of fish, huge fish, huge bass with them, and uh. You know, I'm throwing the, you throw them with fluorocarbon, and you're almost likely to get one. So, um, yeah. That concludes it on the rooster tails and spinners. And I hope you enjoyed this little segment of inline spinners. And I'm going to get my Oakleys on. I'm going to head out there on my John boat, and I'm going to catch them. And please subscribe down low for more exclusive and really good, insane content. And we'll see you out in the water, guys. Wait, Ryan, quick question before you go, yeah. Chief. What's the biggest bass that you've ever caught? Your personal record. So, your personal best, your PB. The biggest bass I've caught. And what'd you catch it off of? Tell us. I'm not gonna tell you guys. That's that's um, okay. it's maybe another video, but my biggest bass I've caught was seven pounds, eight ounces. I'll tell you right now, it was a soft plastic. I'm not gonna tell you what rig it was, but it was a soft plastic okay. type lure, seven pounds, eight ounces, May 10th evening. It was like around six o'clock. And I thought it was, I thought I got snagged on a log, started moving. It broke the surface. It was like almost a two minute fight. Right. Never forget that day. Beautiful. But seven pound, eight ounce bass in Connecticut is insane. Like, like, you know, you don't see that a lot. So. Well, thank um, you, Ryan. I mounted it. I'll send you pictures of what the mount looks like. It's on my Instagram if you want to check it out. It's on it's on everything. So just uh, stay tuned and tight lines and big tines. I'm going out on the John boat and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, cheers and ciao everyone. Woo! Peace.